In order to protect yourself from the negative effects of breathing in dust from woodworking and manufacturing, it's important to know what it can do to your lungs and what measures you can take. Our video shares what dangers you face when breathing in dust and what you can do about it. Let's take a look. Bacteria, mold, fungi. Wood dust consists of relatively large particles of dust. The body is able to protect itself from larger dust particles by filtration that happens in the nose and airways. Dust caught in the airways to the lungs is contained and coughed up in mucus that the air passage membranes produce. While large dust particles cannot enter the lungs themselves, they can irritate the nose and airways. Besides the risk of irritation that wood dust can bring, it can also contain other elements besides fine particles of wood matter. Wood dust can carry bacteria, molds, and fungi. These dust particles are often small enough to enter deeper into the lungs and cause irritation and infection, which can result in lung problems. Harsh, nasty chemicals. Besides carrying bacteria and mold and fungi spores, wood dust often contains chemicals. These chemicals are either naturally occurring compounds found in the wood itself or added chemicals utilized in the treating process of the wood. Certain types of woods have been isolated to be particularly harmful if you inhale its dust, like alder, cedar, fir, larch, pine, teak, yew, and others. You know, most of what you're likely working with. These have caused many lung complaints, including decreased lung function, decreased breathing capacity, asthma, wood pulp workers disease, and rhinitis. Prolonged exposure to these wood dusts, as well as dust containing synthetic chemicals used to treat wood is therefore likely to result in diseases of the lungs. Allergies and lung cancer. What else can happen from breathing in too much dust? Well, it's not uncommon that regular exposure to the woods we mention could cause a wood dust allergy. In other scenarios, some will see a heightened risk of cancer. Wood dust has been classified as a carcinogen and its carcinogenic effects have been likened to that of smoking. Protecting yourself from dust. As we can see, wood dust can cause numerous lung problems, some of which are very serious. So what can be done? Quite a lot, actually. First, you know what type of wood you're working with to ensure you're taking the right precautions if you choose to use it in projects. Another thing you'll want to do to protect yourself is to set up a dust filtration system. Using a shop vac, a dust filtration system works to filter out all dust particles by beefing the shop vac up with two extra dust collection stages. These work to ensure even the finest of dust particles are contained. This setup is perfect for a one-man home workshop. If you operate a large woodworking workshop, it is imperative for the safety of your staff that you look at buying an industrial dust collector. So besides the dust collector, we also have to recommend wearing a mask and protective clothing. And of course, cleaning up after yourself when working. Breathing in dust from woodwork can have some unpleasant consequences. Fortunately, there are ways to minimize these and lower the amount of dust that you inhale. Now that you know how to protect yourself from wood dust and its harmful effects, you can continue working with wood without putting the health of your lungs at risk. If you need to invest in some dust collector filter bags, be sure to check out our air filtration products. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give us a like Drop a comment and subscribe for more great info.